another comment, answer, question day, follow up doon sa mga nanay na nag-message sa akin regarding breastfeeding problem or a formula feeding problem. So, uh, one mom uh, did a comment about the problem with latching. Okay? Um, ang problema niya, ang nipple niya is super malaki. Very large nipple. And um, she ended up of uh, mixing um, feeding the baby da with formula dahil hindi nga naglalatch baby because of nipple problem. Um, she was pumping but she's only getting just a little bit of milk. Ang baby na to ay talagang nag struggle latching. So she wants to breastfeed the baby pero talagang hindi niya kayang maging comfortable si baby when it comes to latching. So, i-discuss ko ito. I think I did a video on this before on how to breastfeed with a large nipple. And I have this, my, um, I'm just gonna get my teaching tools here and I want to show you some nipples that I can demonstrate on how to latch the baby with a large nipple. So, so with, with a large nipple, ito, this is kind of a very large nipple, especially pag, pag maliit yung baby mo, tapos ang large ng nipple mo, minsan talaga na nahihirapan ka. So when you look at this nipple, mas malaki siya kumpara dito sa nipple ng bottle na to, okay? So, kalimitan sa mga nanay, um, when they're latching at malaking malaki yung nipple nila, Minsan si baby, hindi ka nagagag. Nagagag yun sila. Ah, ah, gumaganon pag nag ka. Because, again, feeling ng baby na yung nipple, this nipple, is uh, touching dito sa, sa, ano bang tawag nito? Sa soft palate nila. Na hindi doon sa roof ng mouth ni baby. So, pag na-touch yun, very sensitive yun, nagagag si baby. Minsan, hindi kaya ni baby bumuka uh, to open the mouth wider because again, the nipple is too large. I have one of the best techniques that I taught my patients in our breastfeeding clinic on how to latch a baby with a large, with a, with a mother with a large nipple. Now, I where's my baby here? Huh? Get my baby here. Okay, so for, for the sake doing sa mga nananay na nagtanong nito, okay? I want to make sure na um, makokorek natin kung ano may yung problema ninyo when it comes to latching. Dahil alam kong not all nurses in the hospital knows the technique that we lactation consultant learned in our clinical on how to latch a baby with a large nipple. Well, pretend that this is a very large nipple, okay? So normally, pag nag-breastfeed ka, when you latch the baby, you go straight right to the middle. Uh-huh, right? When you do that, some babies would easily open the mouth wider, especially babies na matured baby. But kung baby mo is preterm, maliit yung baby mo, and most Filipinos, based on research, okay, most Filipino babies are smaller as compared to Western babies. Kasi yun nga ang body bulk natin eh. Um, so, when you're having a baby that's a small baby with a small mouth, at the thin lips, talagang you're gonna struggle with a large nipple with latching. So my trick, my trick when I teach the mom on how to latch a baby, mag start talaga ako sa side. So, so if I'm if I'm holding my baby, let's say, well pretend this this is my baby, okay? Sorry, uh, I'm far away from my camera, but I'm gonna make sure that I'm doing this one right so that you can see it. So if I'm holding my baby. This way. So if let's say I'm doing a, a, what do you call this one? Cradle hold. So this is a cradle hold. So my hand is free, right? My hand is free. So when I hold my breast, I want to aim yung nipple to the right lower side of the lip. Right lower side of the lip. Because this is my right, right? That's the right. So I want to focus on the right, so it would be this, right side of the baby's lip, right? Mouth. So I start here, 
So when I latch the baby, I tickle, tickle, tickle. I use my nipple to tickle, tickle so that baby will open mouth and then I go in. So when that, my nipple is in, like that, then once the baby fully um, inside, you open na yung, nandil na yung buong, the whole nipple inside the baby's mouth, that's the time that I switch it right to the middle. Because normally, if you look at your nipple, at the base of your nipple, this size become thinner. Itong portion na to, hindi naman dyan ang, ang pag-latch. Eh. Kailangan ang latch ni baby is up to here because we want the latch to be deeper. So when the baby's mouth is open wide, as wide as this, there's nothing really it's distracting dito sa large nipple kasi ang large nipple nasa loob na ng mouth ni baby. The nipple is already inside the baby's mouth. What's, what's my concern is just this portion here, the areola part, kailangan dito yung lips ni baby, the lips of the baby should be around this area. Now, if the baby's lips is just around this base of the nipple or middle, that means the baby probably gonna gag because the nipple is there, very large, and causing the baby to gag. Kaya, minsan the baby will push away, the baby will refuse to latch, but mommy, I cannot handle it anymore. So you need to make sure when you're doing a large nipple, when you have a large nipple, to follow the trick because it really works for my patients in our breastfeeding clinic when I'm using that technique that instead of going straight from the middle of the mouth, go from the side, tickle the baby's lips with your nipple. When the baby opens the mouth, they go in slowly and then deeply when the baby opens the mouth. So that's the trick that I use with a very large nipple. Um, there's some technique too that, that I, I taught some of my patients in our breastfeeding clinic. My other technique is I use the index finger, okay? This index finger. This index finger is very sometimes very useful. Dahil, because the mom's index finger is almost kind of as big as your nipple, if this is the size of your large nipple. What I do is I put, I squeeze milk on this index finger. So mom will squeeze milk on the index finger. I let the baby suck the finger with the milk on it, okay? Uh, you can do it maybe 30 seconds, let the baby suck, or, or, or 5 or 10 seconds, take it out, let the baby suck again, 5, 10 seconds, take it out. Maybe do it three times. Once the baby is actively, actively sucking the finger, then switch the baby to your nipple. Because that way, the baby's mouth is going to be fully open. Open your mouth, my baby. Because it's in train. This is what I call sucking training. Mm -hmm. Sucking training. Uh, you can do the sucking training um, if the baby is really lazy. You tamad si baby na mag suck. Tamad si baby na mag latch. So you can do sucking training. Uh, I use also sucking training doon sa mga preterm baby na mahina talaga yung sucking nila. So I do sucking training using your finger. Uh, some moms, ang ginagawa din ng ibang mga moms, they use this artificial nipple. If you are mixed feeding, it doesn't matter now. Nagagamit ka na ng artificial nipple. Pero kung hindi ka nagbe-dress, kung hindi ka nagagamit ng bote at ayaw mong medyo masira yung na-establish mong feeding routine ni baby na hindi mo gagamitin doon. So don't don't use the this silicone nipple. But if you're using bottle, then you can use this. This is what I do too. So, um, I put some milk inside. Nilalagyan ko ng milk dito sa loob ng nipple, artificial nipple. And then, just the nipple, okay? Just the nipple. Uh, and then, I let the baby suck doon sa milk na yun, sa loob ng nipple na yun. Pag medyo active na yung sucking ni baby, na medyo nakikita ko may improvement na, then that's the time sinis-switch ko sa baby sa latching. Now, with this mom na nag struggle siya sa large nipple, he, she ended up of having formula feeding, mixed feeding, nagpa-pump ka, then konti lang na labas. Um, it's, it's understandable. 
dahil hindi na-stimulate ng bibig ni baby yung breast mo. It's not the same as the plastic of the breast pump na nag stimulate sa breast mo. So, when you, based on research, kahit gaano kakaraming milk, minsan, kung kulang ang stimulation ng breast mo, sometimes your milk supply will slowly decline. Bumababa ng bumababa. Lalo na nag-mix feeding ka, lalo na hindi na-stimulate yung breast mo sa baby. May mga breast pump na very effective talaga, yung mga mamahalin na na-stimulate talaga yung breast mo. Sometimes it can help to 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 improve your milk supply. Minsan din yung mga mumurahin na feeling mo hindi talaga na 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 nabibigyan ng good pressure when 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 your breast when you're using the breast pump kaya kunti lang talaga yung yung nakukuha mong milk. Don't get frustrated when you when you see that you have less milk when you're pumping. That's normal talaga. Kasi iba talaga yung yung feeling mo at yung stimulation ng bibig ni baby pag naglilats ka. So, whatever you can get from from your pumping, treasure it. Uh, you can give the baby first your breast milk bago mong bigyan ng formula. Um, if the baby is gaining weight, walang problema sa weight, although namang problema ka talaga dahil gusto mong mag-exclusive breastfeed, pag hindi talaga mangyayari na exclusive, you have to accept it. Okay? Kasi pag malo kang may stress dahil sa performance ng baby mo, sa performance ng pump mo, at sa problema ng, ng structure ng nipple mo, lalo kang may stress, lalong bababa at bababa yung milk supply mo. So, accept it. Yes, may problema ka sa nipple. If there's a way that we can fix that, sa tinuro ko sa yung strategy, do it. Kung it doesn't help yun sa tinuturo ko sa yung tips, don't get frustrated, okay? Be thankful na, na healthy si baby. Be thankful na kumakain si baby. So, just make sure na maintain yung weight ni baby. Again, maraming nagtatanong dyan na, na bumababa yung weight ni baby. Nagpa-fluctuate talaga ang weight ni baby, okay? At ma makikita nyo yan sa mga iba kong videos about growth sports dahil pag-uusapan natin doon. But, always make sure if the baby is uh, pooping good every day, Peeing good every day. That means the baby is getting something. The baby is be being healthy, is getting healthier. So it's good to just accept kung anong meron ka. Dahil may mga nanay na problemado problemado talaga sa mga nipple nila. Either inverted, either flat, or too short, or too big. Ito talaga is a challenge. Pero thank you for reaching out. Thank you for asking questions. I need more from you. If you ask more questions, nandidita lang ako. And again, thank you again for subscribing me. And thank you for following me. Share this video dahil maraming mga nanay ngayon sa buong mundo who are struggling with breastfeeding at wala silang lactation consultant na katulad kung nagbibigay sa inyo ng tamang direction. Okay? I only give whatever is the right way on how to solve your breastfeeding problem. Although there are most of the information I give you are general information, it may not work for you, it may work for you. So again, if you can go and seek uh, information or guide from your healthcare provider, do it. Uh, I'm here to help you. So watch for more videos from me. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.